Hi, we are on chapter 10 of Lemons. You are my sunshine, and you guys are all my sunshine, and I um, hope you have a wonderful weekend this weekend. My all-time favorite Sunday is vanilla ice cream with a glob of marshmallow fluff, a spattering of rainbow sprinkles on the side, and a mix of exactly 50% hot fudge and 50% caramel. Mama's favorite is chocolate ice cream with chunks of banana, whipped cream, and a cherry on top. She really doesn't care about ratios. Our all-time favorite place to go in the city for Sundays is Sunshine's on the Bay. That's where we are today, sitting at their very best table. It's the one next to the front window that looks out over the water. From that spot, we can watch all the sailboats and ships go back and forth across the bay, we can even hear the barking sea lions sunning themselves on the docks outside. Today is perfect, sunny and warm and perfect. On perfect days like this, every table at Sunshine's is full. And today it's no different. Mama and I have on our best sundresses, our fancy sandals, the ones with the gold buckles on the heels, and she's telling me all about the free animal clinic she opened in Charlie's garage and all the animals that came to see her. Someone locks, knocks loud on the front window. Bang, bang, bang. Lemonade. Bang, bang, bang. Lemonade. Limit Liberty Wit. I turn to see Tobin Sky, Willow Creek's official Bigfoot detective. He's standing on the sidewalk wearing his Bigfoot safari hat strapped tight under his chin with his Polaroid hanging from his neck. He's peering at me between cupped hands through the front window. Painted letters on the glass advertise the ice cream of the month. Suck a lemon! Sunday Supreme! I yell. Lemonade! He calls again. We got another call! We got another call, Lemonade! Mama, this is Tobin, I say, turning back to face her. But the chair across from me is empty. Mama? I call, looking around the shop. But now, the place is empty. Everyone is gone. Even Mr. Bingham at the counter, who wears a paper hat and always gives me extra sprinkles. Lemonade! Bang, bang, bang! My eyes peel open. I stare straight up at a star-free ceiling, which hangs above a bare naked floor. An itchy wool blanket covers me, and a round frame of a red-headed girl's picture is lying next to me on the bed. Bang, bang, bang. I pull myself up and I drag my tired body over to the window. I feel all worn out and my eyes are hot and scratchy. When I push the faded blue curtains to one side, Tobin is standing there staring at me from under his safari hat. What do you want? I holler back at him through the glass, rubbing at my eyes. Employees at the Bigfoot Detective, Inc. clock in at precisely 0830 hours, he tells me. What time is it? 0835 hours, he holds his watch up to show me. It has a smiling cartoon Bigfoot on it with hairy brown arms that are pointing to an 8 and a 7. And we just got another call, he waves to the yellow legal pad at me. I push the window up. Mrs. Dickerson again? I asked, thinking that fresh molasses cookies sound way better, much better breakfast than sticks and seeds and bark. No, the Millers, the Millers out on Miller Ranch, they had an encounter. They think they caught something on film during a hunting trip. They have pictures. Hurry, hurry her up and get dressed. <sighs> Can't, I'm calling in sick today. Sick? He puts his hands on his hips. You can't call in sick on your very second day of work. Says who? Section 2, Article 5 of the Bigfoot Detective Incorporated Employee Manual, he says. How do you have an employee manual for business without any employees? I typed it up last night, he says. And Article 5, Paragraph 6, specifically addresses tardiness attendance, and professional demeanor. <sighs> I yawn and I rub at my eyes again. 
And I have to tell you, this does not look good under any of those categories, he goes on. Fine, I'll meet you in the garage. You mean Bigfoot headquarters. Yeah, right, the HQ. When? When will you meet me? I don't know, I say exasperated. Five, ten minutes? Well, which is it? Five or ten? Five, okay, five minutes. He checks his watch, pushes a few buttons, winds it, and then he lifts it up to his ear. I will expect to see you at the Bigfoot Detective Headquarters at 08, 40 hours, 42 hours then, he says. Do you want to synchronize? I roll my eyes and slam the window shut. That's it for Chapter 10. I hope you all have a marvelous weekend.